Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and I'd like to look through dinner pies with you today, but I'm a little nervous because I haven't had lunch yet and it's 3 p.m. and this is going to make me really hungry. Okay, from shepherd's pies and pot pies to turnovers, quiches, hand pies, and more, with 100 delectable and foolproof recipes by Ken Haydrich, and I'm very excited because it's almost autumn. I can almost see it coming except it's 79 degrees day today here in Seattle. But this is the kind of stuff I like to cook in autumn and winter and early spring because it's cold. Uh, this came out in April or 2016-ish or at least that's when my library got it. Harvard Common Press. Dedicated to the author's wife Bev who, when she said she'd marry him because he would promised one day we'd be rolling in the dough, never suspected that this, my third pie book, was what I had in mind. Cute. Okay. Oh, 2015. Excuse me. Let's check out the table of contents. One, what it takes to make the perfect dinner pie. Two, pie doughs and pastries. Three, savory hand pies and turnovers. Oh, I don't think I've ever had a savory turnover unless you count samosas. Chapter four, little pies and tarts. And then it keeps going. Chapter five, galettes and other garden inspired pies and tarts. Chapter six, quiches and their cousins. Chapter seven, pot pies. Chapter eight, shepherd's pies and a meat pie miscellany. Chapter nine, cobbler strudels and other wrapped entrees. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be awesome. What it takes to make the perfect dinner pie. I always put too much filling in and then the dough can't wrap over it. Greedy. Tools of the trade, pie pans, etc. Baking sheets, food processor, parchment paper, vegetable shortening, butter, la la la, eggs and cheese. Pie dough particulars, getting the dough into your pan, I know, right? Pre-baking your pie or tart shell, dinner pie baking strategies, and now we get to the dough recipes. Go to pie dough, go to pie dough for a double crust, whole wheat pie dough, cornmeal pie dough, yeasted butter pastry, etc. Cheddar cheese pastry, tender buttermilk biscuit crust, samosa dough, ooh, pumpkin sage biscuit crust, flaky and sturdy hand pie pastry, natchitoches meat pie dough. Okay, chapter two, savory hand pies and turnovers. Now we're getting to the recipes and there better be some photos. Yes! Tempe and brown rice empanadas. Too healthy, I'm moving on. Potato and pea samosas. Yum, how delicious does that look? Curried chickpea and rice packets. M mini mushroom and goat cheese turnovers. Chicken, broccoli, and cheddar turnovers. I need pictures. Here's Tuscan style pork turnovers. Thank you for the photo, looks delicious. Cornish meat pies. Ooh, there's a little glare from my camera, sorry, or from my lighting. Baked Reuben sandwich. I need to see a picture. Philly cheesesteak hand pies. Now we're already in the next chapter. Little pies and tarts. Eggs Florentine breakfast pies. These are little roasted tomato tarts. Cute. These are mini hot crab tarts. That'd be great for cocktail party appetizers. Little nibbles. Barbecue and slaw pie tartlets. No picture. Pepperoni pizza bites. Well, we know what those look like. Ooh, pages stuck together. Galettes and other garden-inspired pies and tarts. For example, that is a tomato tart to tan. Fresh tomato and pesto galette. No pictures. Fried green tomato and pimento cheese galettes. I'd love to see that. Creamy red potato and Parmesan tart. Hey, I have those ingredients here right now. Parmesan and red potato. Hmm. Free form zucchini tart. Savory winter vegetable crisp with pastry. Yum. Kale scana, spanacopita. No, I'll use spinach. Thank you. That's just me. Oh, this is pretty. It doesn't say what it is. Is it the sweet potato and herb parmesan galette? Nice alternative if someone doesn't like pumpkin. Cream of collards tart au grat gratin. <laughs> I almost said gratin. Tomato tuna melt pie. Free form French onion tart. Okay, let's get to the next chapter. Not really enough photos here, people. Quiches and their cousins. But other than me whining about lack of photos like I always do, this is a pretty cool cookbook. Fresh corn pudding pie. I love make, making corn pudding and everybody has a slightly different recipe for it. 
This one uses cottage cheese, Dijon mustard, onion, corn kernels, of course. Green chiles, which is what I would do, definitely do. Greek cauliflower and spinach quiche. Rice and spinach tart. Not a lot of photos. What's this picture of? Ooh, beautiful. Roasted asparagus and goat cheese quiche. For those of you that want to make your quiche instead of buying them at Costco. Quiche scampi. Mmm. Okay, what's next? All-in-one breakfast quiche. And using pie dough. And a tart choucroute, I think, if I said that right. Ooh, vegetable pop pie with a pumpkin biscuit crust. Cute. Old Bay Seafood Pot Pie. And let's get to the next chicken pot pie with winter vegetables. Yes. And next, I don't know what that is. Taco pot pie. No picture. Sausage and Guinness pot pie. Perfect for winter. And then you can serve Guinness next to it. Frito's chili pot pie. <laughs> Now we're in a shepherd's pies and a meat pie miscellany. Okay, like what? Italian sausage and chicken skillet pie. That way you have two kinds of meat in there. Shepherd's pie, my boyfriend's favorite entree most likely. And some photos of what it looks like when you're putting it in there. Aussie meat pies, American cheeseburger pie, but no photo. Cobbler, strudels, and other wrapped entrees. Okay, I'm very curious. What is that? That was roasted vegetable strudel. This is salmon and spinach pastry packets. And chicken and rice cheese strudel, old-fashioned chicken and biscuits. That's a good recipe to have. Not a lot of photos left, so we'll end. That is dinner pies. I definitely will cook some things out of this. Disappointed from the lack of photos, but I'm sure everything is delicious. The recipes looked easy to follow, not too complicated, and not too snooty. They looked delicious. That is Dinner Pies by Ken Haydrich. Thanks so much for watching our cookbook look through and review. You can see more of them on the cookbookdivas.com website and blog. We also have, if you'd like to listen to podcasts and hear people chattering about cookbook news, the Cookbook Divas podcast is there. We post videos to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and occasionally Pinterest. Thanks so much for watching.